I wanted to talk about um, one conspiracy theory, or one con you know, I'm using the term conspiracy theory under protest, but it's obviously, it obviously works as, uh, uh, you know, it, it conjures up certain ideas and, and, uh, and notions, and um, so I'm, I'm using it for, for that purpose. Not because I approve of it as a term, because we all know it was a term invented by the CIA to defame uh, people who were seeking the truth. Um, anyway... One, uh, one theory that is out there, that seems to be out there a lot amongst the, uh, um, amongst the conspiracy theory crowd is, uh, and, and it's, it's around it to one extent or another. I mean, we all know that there's a transgender agenda afoot. We all know that. But it seems that there are some who just... Uh, think that, and maybe you're one, one such person, I don't know, you, who, whoever's watching this, um, who thinks that, that um, just about every actress in Hollywood is actually an actor, is actually a man. Um, and maybe it's the other way around, too. Maybe, maybe uh, you know, all the, uh, the, all the, you know, the, the matinee idols, uh, are actually, were actually women, uh, who are pretending to, were women who, who, uh, got a, a, a gender reassignment. Um, there, there was some channel that I remember who, who, that was really deeply into this. Um, and it sounded like the, the person who was, who was in charge of this channel was articulate, didn't, didn't just sound like a, you know, a, a, a you know, a, a rambling schizophrenic or anything. But I mean, she was talking about how like Lucille Ball, uh, was a man, you know, how you could tell from certain features that, that, that she was actually a he and that Desi Arnaz uh, opposite, uh, was actually a woman pretending to be a man. Uh, and so this like, and, and this, this person, um, who I take to be a woman because she sounded like a woman, um, you know, was talking about a lot of other actors and actresses and, and like, see, look at this feature here. Look at the, look at the, uh, high, uh, you know, the, the, um, the shoulder, uh, on, on, on her. That's not the kind of, uh, broad shoulder that you would see on a woman. Um, and look at this, look at this guy, uh, you know, he's, he, he's not a guy, you know, look at, he's got, obviously he has, he's got breasts or, or something like that. Like, you know, um, uh, which you could say about somebody like Zach Galifianakis or somebody like that, I guess. Um, but, um, <laughs> but anyway, I tend to be really skeptical of, of these kinds of things just because there, you know, we all know that there is a, uh, or we should know if we don't, that there is a continuum, you know, male and female exist. Yes. But there are, are women who have certain masculine features and vice versa. So I don't think, for example, when I see a tall, skinny looking, uh, uh, model type, um, you know, who, who's some actress or, or model, uh, uh, who's, who's big right now. I, I don't, I don't, uh, so, you know, I can't think of a name, but, but, you know, you know, the, the body type I'm talking about where there's not much chest, uh, there's not much hips and the, the shoulders are, you know, sort of broad, uh, and they are tall. So they have these, these, uh, you know, supermodel types, if they still, do they still have, are, are supermodels still a thing or, or is everybody, got, everybody have to be 350 pounds now to be a, a, a to be a model. Everybody's beautiful. And, and you know, the more obese you are, the, the better. That seems to be the agenda of the last few years. But I mean, I, I think there are still types who, who fit this description. Um, actresses, the name is escaping me right now, but whoever played Catwoman you know, opposite Christian Bale, um, uh, and has been in some other things, you know, this, this, uh, this brunette, um, 
I can't think of her name right now, but you're screaming it at me. I know, but you know, you, you picture her, you look at a, look at a picture of her and yes, she's tall, uh, you know, probably, uh, probably B size at most, maybe a, I don't know. Um, doesn't seem to be very ample, uh, in the bosomy area. Um, but, but yes, you know, uh, broader shouldered, tall, um, and, uh, so, so, you know, taller than, than the average by far for women. And so there are people out there who say, I bet she's actually a man just, just off of that, just, just for, for, for those reasons alone. Um, no, she, she's a woman and she's an attractive woman, but she has, uh, certain features that are more, uh, masculine, um, but that, that to me anyway, don't, don't mitigate or take away from her being attractive. You know, the same way that, that, uh, some male model or, or, uh, <laughs> so, like the, the, uh, when I look at the, the K-pop guys uh, and K-pop, I know is a really weird, 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 uh, genre in and of itself. And, and who knows what all kind of mischief and wizardry and sorcery goes on in that in that genre so i'm not ruling anything out there really but you you look at some of those guys uh, in in k-pop groups um and they're they're pretty guys i mean they're they're uh you know they're to, to me it recalls duran duran and and others you know uh, adam ant uh, you know there were other in the, in the 80s there were it was kind of a thing to be uh, uh an androgynous uh uh, man, uh, but, but not, not androgynous in the sense of cross-dressing or, or, or anything like that, but just, just ha in, in so far as having kind of prettier features. Um, I mean, even the heavy metal, even a lot of the heavy metal guys in the eighties and that they were supposed to be macho, you know, uh, you know, like Motley Crue and, and, uh, little twisted sister, uh, and, and others, uh, of that, of that sort, you know, they were, they had the long hair, they, they were wearing the makeup, you know, the, the eyeshadow and, and such. Um, and, uh, so androgyny was kind of a thing back then, but I wouldn't conclude, uh, that, 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 that meant that these were really women, uh, <laughs> disguised as men or, you know, women who had, who had uh, been, uh, surgically altered, uh, what used to be called sex change. Uh, uh, now, now, now I guess you're supposed to call it gender reassignment. Uh, but whatever, whatever you call it, it's the same thing, same, same idea, same notion. So first of all, if this is the case, and, and, and more, I much more often hear it talked about in the case of women, you know, like the women out there that you see, who are supposed to be beautiful, uh, in, uh, in Hollywood and, you know, in the modeling industry and in music and, and elsewhere, they're actually men. And it seems like the whole idea is the industry is going to make everybody gay. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm serious. This, this seems to be what, what the, 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 the ones who, who are into these transvestigation, uh, uh, sorts of, uh, uh, notions. Um, it seems to be what, what they, what they're saying that, uh, they, they want to make us all, uh, they want to make men gay. And there certainly is, there certainly is a, a, uh, an agenda out there to promote homosexuality and to try to make more people embrace homose homosexuality. I mean, that is, that is, uh, the, uh, there's receipts for that. Uh, there's the, what, what was it? The Jaffe, report, um, uh, something that, 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 that came out, uh, a, a document that came out of Planned Parenthood in 1969, talking about how, uh, you know, to depopulate, how to keep population growth, uh, in check, uh, because the idea was we were just populating out of control and, and soon there would be no more resources for, for all the, uh, all, you know, all the, uh, the massive population growth, uh, that's happening in, in the world. So, uh, we have to encourage these trends. And one of them was homosexuality. Yes, that is true. 
Um, but I don't get how, okay, let, let me put it this way. If you take a man and you make him look like a woman and you make him look like a beautiful woman and he is convincing as a beautiful woman and, and men see him thinking that he's a beautiful woman and, uh, and, and fall in love with him. Uh, not, they don't fall in love with him. They fall in love with the woman that they think he is. You know, some people say that that's making men gay. I don't get that. Uh, um, you're, you're not, that's not what you're doing. You're, you're getting men, uh, if, if this is true, then what all you're doing is making men be attracted to women, which they are already are attracted to, uh, or, or you're, you're tricking them into thinking that someone who's not a woman is actually a woman. Now, to me, that's, I know there's, the, there's that phrase, traps are gay, and I guess a trap is somebody, uh, a, a man who pretends to be a woman. I don't think that's true. I, I think if, if you uh, convincingly, sh <laughs> if you convincingly um, display femininity and men who are heterosexual, who are heterosexual are attracted to you, uh, then they're, what they're attracted to is the femininity that you're showing off, even if it's, uh, even if it's an illusion, it's, it's a, it's a convincing enough illusion that they're, that they, that they're, um, they're attracted, but that doesn't mean that they've become homosexual and doesn't mean that. So, you know, even if this whole broad theory was true, um, I don't buy that it's, it's making, uh, you know, it's, it's pushing, uh, the cause of homosexuality or making me more men homosexual. You know, if you're wanting to make men homosexual, you would, uh, get them to like men. You would want to get them to like masculinity, to be attracted to masculinity. Okay. So that's why this whole, uh, you know, uh, everyone, everyone out there is, is a tranny. Uh, you know, every beautiful actress is actually a man, uh, in drag. Uh, or, or a, a man who's who's uh, a transsexual. I, I just I don't know. I don't I don't get it. I don't understand it. It seems a little far fetched. Now I will say, just as a caveat here, you know, a lot of people talked about Michelle Obama um, uh, looking like a man, and yes, uh, uh, Michelle Obama had uh, has because uh, she's, she's uh, presumably still around has masculine features. But again, you find, go out in the world, you'll find, you know, go, go, go to the, go to your local mall. You'll, you'll find, you'll, you'll see lots of girls who have masculine features. You'll see um, guys who have feminine features just amongst the, amongst the, the great unwashed, you know, which I, of course, I'm, I'm one of them. I'm, it's a, the group to which I belong as well. Although I'm as, as manly as they come, as you can tell. But you just see that in nature, okay? I will say that the one thing that makes me wonder about Michelle Obama is the fact that uh, that her husband once called her Michael. Uh, and this, this happened in public. This happened at some public event. Uh, and I remember uh, seeing it. And... Uh, uh, and it, you, it, there's no doubt about it. It's very clear. He says, and uh, and Michael can talk about that, or uh, and Michael, what do you think to think about blah 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 or whatever? I don't remember exactly how uh, what the phrase was, um, but that's something that more than any any like, oh, you know, she's got broad shoulders. She's got a, 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 a you know a a, a um, She's got smaller hips. She's got uh, not much of a bust. You know that that's not that's not convincing to me at all. But under why why on earth under what conditions if you were married to a woman named Michelle why would you call her Michael? Uh, you know that that sort of thing uh, definitely makes me scratch my chin thoughtfully. Um, now of course that's not. A smoking gun by any means um, but anyway that, that that's these are my thoughts on uh, the uh, supposed uh, tranny agenda 
So uh, anybody out there who 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 wants to argue with me or wants to uh, wants to uh, red pill me on this one, you know, I welcome your thoughts. Thanks for watching.